Hey y'all, it's Christy with Homes and Things and today I am touring the Mayberry. Yes, the Mayberry is out here at Wayne Fryer Homes in Albany, Georgia. I can't wait to show it to you. Now the Mayberry is a three bedroom, two bath home. It again is featured at Wayne Fryer Homes in Albany, Georgia. It's a beautiful home and I actually have decor pictures. Now decor pictures don't always show the actual home that I'm touring, but it is the Mayberry, you guys. So you get to see the versatility of how this home could look if you don't like it in the cabinet color that I'm showing. So let's go inside and get into it. All right, so as we walk in, the first thing we notice is that the cabinet colors in here are white and the floors have like a grayish tone. Looks really nice and makes the house nice and bright and I absolutely love it. So this is the living room, you guys. You've got lots of space in the living room to decorate the way you like. You have two transom windows in here bringing in all the natural light as well as a ceiling fan. So go ahead and take a look around. What I like about touring these homes is you, when you step into the right house, you can almost see how you would decorate it, what you would use uh, maybe for your entry, like, oh, I would probably put a bench here, or I can see this color couch there, or, oh, I know I have the perfect picture for um, decor picture for that wall, or the perfect lamps for this bedroom, like, I absolutely love being able to envision how I would decorate a home. So that's one of the things that I absolutely love about touring these homes. I also like to see the different styles of home. In this one, I really appreciate how they turn the island toward the dining room versus toward the living room. I think it's super cute. I love the fact that they used uh, this particular material on the island I can't I'm drawing a blank but I'll put it on the screen and then they contrasted it with the dark color uh, counter space over on the exterior wall so really nice again this particular model has white cabinets it also has stainless steel appliances and it has a built-in microwave your refrigerator will actually go under the microwave here really nice absolutely love it you've got uh, lots of counter space and cabinet space in this kitchen um, this would be the perfect fit for the right family so really really nice not a whole whole lot um, that I would change uh, in this kitchen I think it looks really nice I already see where I would put my drink station etc so off the kitchen you have your laundry room two cabinets in here and a place for hanging clothes which is always a nice feature you have your back door there really lovely all right so back through the kitchen we'll take a look at the rest of the house here give you a good view of the kitchen and the living room and then next to the kitchen is the dining room beautiful dining room table i absolutely love it i think the only thing that's missing from right here is a window um, i would have loved to see a window there but it's not a deal breaker for me because you have so many windows in the kitchen. You have nice bright light coming in from the kitchen. And then you have a bunch of windows in the family room next to it. So really nice setup. Large table. That table can seat six. Really beautiful. Love the fact that they have a chandelier there. Really gives you separation from the kitchen and the family room. This dining room area 
and it makes a great space for entertaining because from the kitchen you can see and talk to the people in the living room the kitchen on into the family room so really nice now here you have your family room you've got three big windows and three transom windows really nice and bright in here love the uh, fireplace area you can put a nice size TV up there and it has a bit built-in mantle so really really pretty I love that absolutely gorgeous This is really a nice size family room, you guys. I could almost see my big comfortable reclining sectional in this room. This would be the area where we hang out, look at a little TV. The actual living room would be more of a formal area. We probably wouldn't even go in unless we had company. Y'all know how mama did it. But I absolutely love this space. It's not too, it's not small and cramped and thrown in. It was really thought of so yeah really nice space this first bedroom uh, here is right off the family room nice size bedroom I'm not gonna do a lot of talking in the bedrooms I'm gonna let you check them out and I'll meet you in the master all right so that's it for the additional bedrooms again you have two bedrooms off the family room there and then you also have a additional bathroom here um, with a tub and shower combo plenty of room in this bathroom Plenty of room, really nice. Sorry that it's kind of dark, but I wanted to allow you to see what it looked like. There wasn't a light in there. You also have a linen closet here next to the bathroom, really nice. You can store sheets and towels and appliances or just use it for storage, comforters, whatever you like. But it's really nice to have a linen closet. So we'll take one more look around the family room, walk through the dining room, kitchen and living room, and we'll go take a look at the master bedroom. I always love the walkthrough back through the rest of the house too because uh, it just brings back in my mind the things that I liked about the house when I first started walking through. So now as I'm headed 
to the master that this is normally the time when i go okay i could i could live in this house you know the master like seals the deal the bathroom the size of the bedroom like seals the deal but just walking back through i'm like okay yep that kitchen yep i really like this so i don't know what your process is when you are looking for a home but every home we viewed that's what i did i would i would really take note of the things that i liked and by the time i walked through i kind of knew all right if this master's on point this is the one and i'm gonna be real with you i did a lot of shopping before i even got to the lot and listen i had picked out my house online okay i knew exactly what i wanted and when we got to the first lot the houses that i saw online were not on this lot they were completely different houses so now i'm confused because I had my mind set on a particular house. So keep all your options open. You guys, this is the master closet. I'm doing a lot of talking here. This is the master closet. Nice size closet. It's about the size of my master. Um, so you got a nice size walk-in closet. But I appreciate the fact that they brought the shelving all the way around. That is always a plus and absolutely necessary to maximize the storage in your home so really nice that they brought the shelving come all the way around all three sides of that walk-in closet lovely and then you have your primary bathroom or master bathroom here you have double sinks two large mirrors love 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 that they have a window in here that opens and then in this bathroom you have a tub and shower combo thing I do like about this bathroom is it's not oversized our bathroom is oversized I could have done without that huge tub even though it looks nice and it looked great when I was shopping but I could have really done with half of the bathroom that I have and the other half could have been my closet so I just thought I'd say that and I think that's one thing when we're looking we're looking for the biggest and the best looking and then you know you get in it and it sometimes it's too much my bathroom is really too much but this house this is a nice house really like it love the granite countertop in the kitchen love the fact that it has a family room so if you like this house and you're interested it's at wayne fryer in albany georgia they don't post prices their information is in the description box see you in the next video